My name is Annie Brown. I'm a lifelong resident of Stokes County. I've lived in this area since 1950. And I started getting sick when I was 22. And I love to turn the switch on and have my lights just like anybody else. But at what cost? You know, if I had known that that stuff was toxic, I wouldn't be living where I'm living now. In 2005, I moved to Washington, D.C., and around 2010, I started to notice that a lot of people back home in Stokes County were really sick and um, dying of cancer. My mom's cousin had this mysterious leukemia. She died within two weeks. Danielle had been diagnosed with a brain tumor, and I knew she didn't smoke or didn't drink, and I just thought that was really strange that someone my age, so young, would have cancer. My name's Danielle Bailey Lash. When I was 35 years old, I was diagnosed with stage three brain cancer, and that was in 2010. Um, I've lived in Walnut Cove in the Stokes County area near Pine Hall Road for 20, 20 some years at least, never expecting to become sick at age 35 and given a expiration date of three to four months. But um, now I'm in remission, but the unfortunate thing is even though I've put that behind me, I'm starting to make a connection. Something is not right. I do not feel that the state is properly uh, uh, keeping tabs on it, the contamination that we're receiving here in the water tables and also in some of the ash pits that we have in the local area. The possibility of, of the wet, uh, the coal ash getting into the Dan Riff is a possibility too, um, contaminating uh, the fish and also the river. Um, it's very close. I mean, it's within 100 feet. I'm Dr. Deborah Cowan. I'm a veterinarian here in Stokes County. We have lived here since 1993. One of the things we have noticed over the years is back in the uh, early 90s when we first came here, we used to see a lot of Canada geese landing on the pond. And some days you could go out there, there'd be, I don't know, 30, 50, 100. And as time has progressed, you see none. I'm concerned about wildlife, I love wildlife, but I love human life as well. And I have children, I have grandchildren, and I even have great-grandchildren. I'm a young great-grandmother, and I want them to be able to have a life that's free of constant problems that's caused by toxins, you know. I'm concerned about them.